Larry Page's rise from small town to big time. Larry Page is an internet entrepreneur, American computer scientist, and the co-founder of the popular search engine Google. But how did the little boy get inspired to build world-changing technologies and provide everyone with information across the world? Lawrence Edward Page, popularly known as Larry Page, was born on March the 26th, 1973, in Lansing, Michigan, the United States. He was the second child of computer scientists Carl and Gloria Page. Carl was a professor of computer science at Michigan State University, and a BBC reporter described Carl as a pioneer in computer science and artificial intelligence. Gloria, on the other hand, was a computer programming instructor at Lyman Briggs College at Michigan State University. Larry attended the then Oakmus Montessori School, Michigan, now known as Montessori Radmore. He graduated in 1979 and proceeded to East Lansing High School. So typical, Larry's childhood home was full of science magazines, computer parts and computers. This, together with his attentive parents, increased Larry's interest in computer technology at an early age. At the age of 12, Larry read the biography of Nikola Tesla, the brilliant inventor who died in debt and obscurity. The ending story made Larry cry, and he built an interest in business and innovation. Larry believed that building world-changing technologies was not enough, but building the business sense to spread the technologies. He said, I figured that inventing things wasn't any good. You really had to get them out into the world and have people use them to have any effect. While in high school, Larry went to Interlochen Center for the Arts as a saxophonist for two summers. After he graduated from high school in 1991, he went to the University of Michigan, where he obtained a Bachelor of Science degree in computer engineering. While in university, Larry figured that students should be able to afford printed papers, so he created an inkjet printer for printing large posters cheaply. Larry also built all of the mechanics and electronics to drive the engineered ink cartridge. In 1995, he went further for his MSc and PhD in computer science at Stanford University, where he met and became friends with Sergey Brin. At 23, Larry suddenly woke up from a dream wondering if he could download the whole web. This led to the development of the idea of ranking web pages by their inbound links rather than by the number of times they contained the searched word. Sergey joined him in this project and they both collaborated on creating a search engine, which they initially called Backrub in 1996. Backrub listed search results according to their popularity on web pages. Backrub operated on Stanford University servers for several months. Though Larry enrolled for a PhD study at Stanford University, he didn't complete his doctorate studies because of his business ventures. In 1997, Larry attempted to sell Backrub to Excite for $1.6 million. However, the deal never occurred. In less than 20 years after this failed deal, this search engine was worth more than $358.9 billion. The industrious friends renamed the search engine Google. The name was coined from the mathematical term Google, which means the number equal to the numerical 1 followed by 100 zeros, or 10 raised to the power 100. This reflected their mission to organize a large amount of information on the web. Andy Bechtolsheim, Sun Microsystems co-founder, played an important role in financing Google. He gave Larry and Sergey a check for $100,000 to finance a company that had not even come into existence yet. After Larry and Sergey had raised $1 million through the help and support of other investors friends and family, they officially launched the company Google in 1998. Since then, Google has gradually risen to become the world's most popular search engine. Google, which has headquarters 
in California launched Google Earth as its second product in 2001. Also in 2001, Larry employed Eric Schmidt as Google's CEO to lead the company with his adult supervision because Larry didn't seem to have the necessary technical know-how to run the company then. Both Larry and Sergey were very careful when choosing the CEO candidate, but when they realized that Eric was a programmer and also a burner too, they felt he was very fit for the company. At first, Larry wasn't so happy about having to give up his position as Google's CEO, but he gradually became comfortable with handling less daily management tasks for the company. The company held its initial public offering IPO in 2004, a move that turned the long-term friends into billionaires. The same year, Google launched a social networking site called Orkut, introduced Google Desktop Search, launched Gmail, and also launched Google.org, the charity part of Google, to contribute towards social issues and causes. 2005 was quite a productive year for Google. The company released iGoogle, Google Reader, Blogger Mobile, and Google Maps. Larry purchased YouTube for $1.65 billion in stock in 2006. Though YouTube had been a popular website for user-submitted videos, Google's acquisition made YouTube the most popular till date. That same year, Google introduced the chat feature in Gmail. Larry also started the Carl Victor Page Memorial Foundation that year in honor of his father, who died soon after Larry left for his graduate studies. Carl Page died as a result of complications caused by polio that he had contracted when he was a child. Love wasn't far from Larry as he got married to Lucinda Southworth in 2007 on Necker Island. The couple were blessed with two children. The first was a boy born in 2009. The second was born in 2011, but the sex was unknown because Larry and Lucinda were so secretive about their children. Also in 2007, Google signed a partnership with Salesforce.com and China Mobile. Google also signed other partnerships to make Google Apps for Education available freely to all students in Rwanda and Kenya. In 2008, Google launched an upgraded version of Google Earth and also Google Sites. Google also launched Google Health, a personal health information centralization service. Unfortunately, Google Health was discontinued three years later when it was unable to achieve the desired results. In 2009, Larry received an honorary doctorate award from the University of Michigan during a graduation commencement ceremony. Larry acquired Picnic and Aardvark in 2010. Google Apps was also launched in 2010 to enable customers to easily manage cloud apps. In 2011, Larry became CEO of Google and shared daily responsibility with Sergey, who was the director of special projects. Eric Schmidt, who was the former CEO, functioned as the company's executive chairman. In 2013, Google received an average of 5.9 billion searches daily, and Larry was ranked the 13th richest person in America by Forbes with a net worth of $20.3 billion. He was also ranked 17th on Forbes' list of most powerful people. Larry and Sergey were not done yet. In 2015, they announced the creation of a new parent company. The duo stated that the parent company, named Alphabet, would oversee Google and other subsidiaries. Larry and Sergey moved on to become Alphabet's CEO and President, respectively, while Sundar Pichai was employed to function as Google's top executive. Aside from computer technology, Larry also invested in Tesla Motors and renewable energy technology. With the help of Google.org, Larry promoted the adoption of plug-in hybrid electric vehicles, and other alternative energy investments. 
Larry is a person who took advantage of the opportunity he had as a child. Many children his age had close contacts with computers and computer parts, but never made anything successful with it. However, Larry made full use of the avenue of living around computers to become the major provider of all the information of the world, a famous computer scientist and an entrepreneur. Aside from being the co-founder of Google, Larry remains one of the most successful entrepreneurs who laid the foundation that changed the way we use the internet today. A true prodigy of relentless hard work, persistence and pursuer of excellence in all that he did.